Now, don't we all want a nice, healthy tan? A tan which makes us look much younger or more athletic? A tan which fools our colleagues thinking that we went to the Bahamas? Well, thanks to Corona, nobody will be thinking that. And hopefully, after watching this video, you will never ever be thinking about getting a tan again. Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video where we will cover the dangers of tanning beds. This video is part of a video series on your skin where we will cover all kinds of skin related problems and drugs and for those of you interested, check out the playlist in the description after watching this video of course. And for those of you meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this channel. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer. It's meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor and how quickly let's get learning. You're sure it makes sense that some of you are tempted to lay under a tanning bed once in a while. It's relaxing, it provides you with a quick tan and you feel like you look better afterwards. However, tanning beds tan you by exposing your skin to a high concentration of ultraviolet rays, much higher than typical sun exposure would cause. Now, ultraviolet rays consist out of waves of different wavelengths, most notably UVA and UVB rays. Now, the UVB rays only reach the superficial levels of your skin, mostly causing a sunburn, but the UVA rays go much deeper. They penetrate your skin and actually can cause DNA damage in your skin cells, leading to an uncontrollable growth in some of these cells and ultimately causing several types of skin cancer. And you would never guess which type of UV radiation tanning beds admit. About 95% of all radiation they admit consists out of UVA radiation, emitting about 10 to 15 times more UVA radiation than the midday sun. Yeah, sure, it provides you with some nice short-term tanning, but it also provides you with an increased long-term risk on melanomas, the most dangerous form of skin cancer. And for all of you wanting to learn how to check yourself for skin cancer, then check out the video I made on it up there or in the description. Now, according to a study from 2014, about 18% of all adults, as well as 45% of university students, have tanned indoors in the previous year. And in the United States alone, there are between 10 and 30 million tanners each year. That's totally incredible if we consider the health risk this causes. And for those of you watching who have tanned indoors, make sure to check yourself for skin cancer regularly. Also check the parts where skin cancer would not normally occur because areas that may come in contact with tanning beds don't necessarily see the sun. Now besides an increased risk on developing skin cancer, UVA radiation also causes an accelerated aging process of your skin. It lowers the elasticity in your skin, makes it more saggy and more wrinkly. Here I also wanted to add a tatted tan, as well as a darker skin tone for that matter, marginally protects you better against a sunburn and therefore against UVB radiation. However, it does not protect you from UVA radiation and therefore it does not protect you any better from developing skin cancer. Now we all know now that tanning beds are unhealthy and we never want to use them again, but you might wonder, how can I tan safely? And the only safe way to get a tan is by applying a sunless tanner, bronzer. They improve every year and I'm told they do a great job. However, I haven't actually tried one for myself. Bronzers are really safe though, and they contain an ingredient which tints your skin. This is just temporarily, of course, and over the layer of bronzer, you should apply sunscreen to actually protect you from the sun rays as well. And if you want to learn more on which sunscreen to use, then check out the video I made in the description or somewhere up there. Now, I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And for those of you wanting to keep learning, check out the videos I linked in the description or somewhere up there. Now, all that rests me is to thank my sponsors on Patreon. Thank you, Sebastian. And thank you guys for watching as well. Please leave a like. This will help out the video tremendously and consider subscribing. I'm hoping to reach 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year and you can contribute to that as well. Thank you and as always, I will see you with a new video next week. Bye bye.